today's lecture we will start discussions on graph theory. Now, the question is what is a graph? A graph is a is an ordered pair of sets. The first set is called the set of vertices and the second set is called the set of edges. However, this set of vertices and set of edges are not independent. Every edge corresponds to two vertices which are called the end points or the end vertices of these two uh, this of that edge. Let me write down the definition formally. A graph consists of a set of objects V and the objects denoted by v 1, v 2 and so on called vertices and another set denoted by E usually consisting of edges uh, consisti consisting of objects which we denote by E 1, E 2 and so on consisting of objects called edges. Now, what is the connection between an edge and vertices? Each edge E k is identified with two vertices V i and V j. We will be writing this fact by now here we have to uh, be careful and uh, and mention that this pair is unordered that means we do not consider the order as important uh, here. So, it is called unordered pair. Later on we may introduce ordered pair and then instead of just edges we will have directed edges and 
instead of just graphs, we will have directed graphs or die graphs. But we are not considering those type of graphs right now, we are considering just graphs or undirected graphs and therefore, an edge is uh, associated to a pair of vertices. Uh, in fact, a, we will let us see that it does not uh, mean that the vertices has to be distinct. So, what happens if the two vertices are same, we will discuss that also. So, it will associate to two vertices which need not be distinct. So, let us look at a, an example of a graph. So, we have got vertices which we write as points on a plane let us name these points call them v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 now we start writing the edges. The edge E 1 is in a way interesting, because the vertices corresponding to E 1 are not distinct. E 1 corresponds to the pair V 1 V 1, it is called a self loop. So, the end points of the edge E 1 are not distinct E 1 will be referred to as a self loop at V 2. Now, where is E 2? E 2 is a is an edge like this, then E 3 is this, E 4 is this. Now, we come to another phenomena E 5. Now, we see that we have drawn two edges in between V 1 and V 3. It is also possible, because when I am talking about the set of edges, an edge E k is associated to two end vertices or end points, let us say V i V j and there may be another some other edge associated to the same unordered pair of vertices. These two edges will be called parallel edges. So, we write this as the edges E 4 and E 5 each are associated to the end points V 1, V 3. Thus, there are two edges connecting the end points or vertices V 1, V 3. 
Thus, there are two edges connecting the vertices V one, V three, namely E four, E five. These edges are called parallel edges. Now, let us look at, uh, let us draw some more edges E 6 and then E 7. Thus, we have got here an example of a graph, the type of objects that we are going to uh, consider in this lecture and in sub some subsequent lectures. Now, we can take this the whole thing together and denote this graph by an ordered pair of sets, let us call it G. V E, where V consists of the vertices V 1 up to V 5 and E consists of the edges E 1 up to E 7. This is our graph. Now, we will consider the same graph and discuss some more terminologies uh, which are related to graphs. According to our definition, this is a graph. We can restrict our definition a little more and talk about simple graphs. A graph G V E is said to be a simple graph if it has neither self loops nor parallel edges. Sometimes we will prove certain results related to simple graphs, but for the time being we consider the graphs which may have parallel edges or self loops. Now, we talk about two important concepts related to vertices and edges namely incidence and 
adjacency and degree. Incidence, degree and adjacency. When a vertex V i is an end vertex of some edge E j V i and E j are said to be incident with each other or incident to or on each other. Now, let us look at the graph that we have uh, here and see uh, some examples of vertices and edges incident with each other. If we consider V 1, the vertex V 1 and the edge E 3, they are incident with each other. or we can say that E 3 is incident to V 1 or incident on V 1 or we can say that V 1 is incident to or incident on E 3. Similarly, we can say that V 1 is uh, incident with E 5, we can say that V 1 E 4 are incident with each other and so on. Now, it is not difficult to see that if we are given a graph and we can pick up then in that case we can pick up each vertex and check how many edges are incident on it. Now, that number is called the degree of that vertex. the number of edges incident on a vertex V i with self loops counted twice is called the degree of V i and denoted by d v i. So, we have talked about 
incidence, we have talked about degree. Now, the question is what do we mean by adjacent vertex vertices or adjacent edges. Two vertices are said to be adjacent if they are end vertices of a common edge. Now, again if we look at the graph above, we will see that v 1, v 2 are In, uh, are adjacent to each other because E 3 is common to them. V 1, V 2 are adjacent vertices, but if we consider V 1 and V 4, they do not have a common edge therefore, they are not adjacent v 1, v 4 are not adjacent vertices. Next, we talk about adjacency of edges, two edges are said to be adjacent if they are incident on a common vertex. So, if we again look at our diagram, we will see that the vertex E 3 uh, the edge E 3 and E 5 are in th uh, are adjacent because they have a common end point or end vertex v 1, e 3 and e 5 are adjacent edges, whereas E 5 and E 1 are not adjacent. At this point, we have to remember another thing that when we talk about degree of a vertex, we have to consider uh, the self loops are contributing uh, a degree 2 to each vertex. The idea essentially is this that suppose we are at V 2 over here and we have got a self loop E 1. So, it is coming out of V 2 
in two places or coming in two places. That means, the edge E 1 is uh, incident on V 2 twice and therefore, uh, because both the ends are uh, incident on V 2. Therefore, when we are counting the degree of V 2, E 1 will contribute 2 and as we see from the diagram E 3 and E 2 will contribute 1 each. So, the degree of V 2 is going to be 4 and not 3. Next, now we would like to see what happens if we sum all the degrees of all the vertices of a graph. Let us consider a graph with E edges and N vertices. Let us denote the vertices by V 1, V 2 and so on up to V n. Now, if we sum the degrees of all the vertices we get a sum like this d v i i equal to 1 to n. Now, the degree of a vertex is the number of edges incident on it therefore, each edge for each edge we will get degree 1 contribution of 1 to the degree of the vertex and for self loops we will get 2 and the edge that is incident on a vertex let us see like this suppose I have a vertex V and the edge E is incident on it. Now, this edge will have another end point let us call that V dash and so this edge will contribute another degree to V dash in case this edge is a self loop then this will come back to V itself and therefore, it will contribute degree 2 uh, uh, contribute 2 to the degree of V. Because of this we can say that each edge is going to contribute 2 to this sum and therefore, this sum is equal to twice the number of edges. We can check this by examples. Let us look at one small graph so, like this. So, let us call it V 1 v 2, v 3 and v 4. Now, degree of v 1 is equal to 2, degree of v 2 is equal to 3, degree of V 3 is equal to 
2 and degree of v 4 is equal to 1. Now, if I add all of them degree of v 1 plus degree of v 2 plus degree of v 3 plus degree of v 4 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 which gives me 8 and now if I count the number of edges this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, the number of edges equal to 4. So, the sum of degrees i equal to 1 to 4 d v i is equal to 2 times the number of edges. That is 2 times 4 equal to 8. this rather simple observation has another interesting consequence and that is the first theorem on graph theory that we are going to prove. So, we have this theorem. This theorem states that the number of vertices of odd degree in a graph is always even. Now, the question is why and that is what we will do when we check the proof. Now, suppose that I have a set of edges and number of edges is n. Suppose G equal to V comma E is a graph where V equal to V 1 up to V n and the number of elements in E is small e. Now, we already know that if I sum up all the degrees of the vertices sigma i equal to 1 to n d v i is going to be 2 times of e. Now, what we observe that in capital V that is the set of vertices there are two types of vertices. The vertices which has got odd degree and the vertices which has got even degree. Now, let us write over here let v odd is equal to 
the set of vertices with odd degree and V even is the set of vertices with even degree now if we have this then the sum that we are considering can be split up into two partial sums one sum dvi where this is over v odd and the other sum is again d v j where this is over v even. We can write all v i belonging to v odd and all v j belonging to v even and this is equal to 2 times e. Now, at this point we realize that at this point we realize that this term is an even number. The reason is that each of d v j by definition is even because these degrees are even and if we sum up even numbers no matter how many of them we are going to get, get an even number and therefore, we will have sigma v i belongs to v odd d of v i equal to twice e minus sigma v even d of v j v j belongs to d even. This is equal to an even number. Now, since it is an even number, then the sum d v i, where v i varies over v odd, is going to be even, uh, even number, but we know that individual d v i's are odd. Now, if I add some odd numbers, odd number many times, then I am going to get an odd number. So, the sum, the number of terms in the sum here has to be even and that means that the cardinality of V odd is going to be an even positive uh, I should write an even uh, integer uh, non negative integer because of course, it can be 0. this completes the proof of the theorem. So, what we have proved that no matter whichever graph I take and if I compute 
the degrees of the vertices, then we will see that number of vertices with odd degree will always be even. With this, we come to the end of today's lecture. Thank you. Thank you.